can't do that. Okay, so you're refusing I'm ADA accommodations I'm, then? I'm, I'm not refusing. Yes, you are. For you. I'm not refusing. But ma'am, I told you I don't have voicemail, and I told you I can't hear the phone ring, and I asked you to schedule a time. Like, I don't understand. Can I, can I suggest this, ma'am? Please, if you want to call back, we'll say in 30 minutes, and she may be out of the meeting. I, I can't hear what you're saying. What? If you want to call back within 30 or 40 minutes, she may, may be out of the meeting. I don't schedule appointments for the supervisors. I don't schedule okay, appointments but for I, them. Why can't you we just, just schedule every... me an appointment for the doctor when I've been waiting six months for an appointment? So the supervisor is going to give you a call to discuss that with you. Uh, if you want to call back to speak with the supervisor, you're more than welcome. She'll be here with the office is open till 430. Well, other than that, I don't name? have any solution well, other than that name? for her to, for you to call well, back. What is their name? Her, her name is Veronica. Her name is Veronica, and she will give you a call. Miss, I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to be difficult with you, Miss Miss Goring. I'm really not. I'm just trying to assist you the best I can. But you're I, not I'm, being I'm not, difficult. I can't. You're I can't. I can't. Okay. Can I can I speak for a second? No. I cannot schedule the appointment for you. One sentence. Okay. Right, go ahead. I'm listening to you. I'm listening to everything that you're saying. No, you're not. You're cutting me off. You're dismissing me. You're putting me on massive hold times. You're telling me, oh, there's all this stuff written about you, so we can't make an appointment. I'm like, well, hey, if there's stuff written. I, I, did, not say, I did not say that to you, ma'am. Well, there obviously kind of is, written. because the average person. I thought you were going to let me finish a sentence. I am going to let you go ahead. I just don't want you to put words that I did not say. Well, okay, go ahead. Then, mm -hmm. Why can't I make an appointment? Because the average person with. Cedar Sonic can just call up and make an appointment rather than being hassled for, you know, oh, I don't know, six months. And then I tell you, I require ADA accommodations because I can't hear. Maybe if I'd had an appointment in the last six months, I could have gotten a hearing aid. That would have been great. But, you know, nope, no appointment for me. And then when I ask, why can't I get an appointment? You won't even answer. So And you tell me that there's all these notes to read. Well, there's obviously slander or libel. I'm not sure which it is about me. And then you won't even tell me what it is. You won't give me an appointment. You won't give me ADA accommodations. That's actually illegal. You're required by law to make some kind of ADA appointments for a patient. I'm not just asking about discussing, you know, medical things. I'm asking about like maybe an email. So like I can, you know, um, schedule an appointment that the supervisor can call. Why do I have to speak to the supervisor to make an appointment with a doctor? It makes zero sense. And because you're treating me differently, how you treat the average person trying to make an appointment at Cedar sinai that's the very definition of discrimination. When you treat okay. one patient differently from the others, that is the very definition of discrimination. And I've done nothing to you people. There can't be anything on there because all I've done is call for six months, try to get an appointment, Went to ER twice. They kept saying, go to the primary doctor. I can't if you won't give me an appointment. That's my entire 100% relationship with Cedar sinai And you're literally treating me like I've been walking through your hospital with a gun. Uh, are you done? Can I speak now? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for right, asking. Thank you. Okay. So when you call to make the appointment, I pulled up your information to make the appointment. I did not mention, I said, let me see if there's any notes. I wasn't able to pull it up. I didn't say there were any notes made about you, slanderous, or, or anything like that. So I did not state that. You did but actually say there the was notes. notes. So you said if I can read the notes to you, and I said no. You said if they're about me, I said I did not say they were about you. I said notes. Let me see if there are any notes is what I said. Okay, um, but obviously the notes the are about me. Because can, I, can, I fin can I finish? Because I did listen to you. Okay, but then can you clarify that? The can you clarify that? Because there, you... there, there are no notes, no ma'am. There's no notes about you for me to read to you, no ma'am. Okay, so then. But I'll okay, then what the are the notes about then, ma'am? Because if you're telling me you won't give me an appointment because there's all these notes, then who are the notes about? And if it's not about me, then who are the notes about? I'm just trying to understand. Uh, Okay, so I said, let me read and see if there if there are any notes because I'm not I wasn't able to pull up your account to make an appointment. I looked to see if there was anything there. That's what I stated to you. I'm I'm not at live to read any notes to you that is not concerning you. So I I, I don't have to do that uh, because it's not regarding you. 
So then I place you on hold. But then who else? Verify some information. <laughs> then I come back to you and I, okay, I'm gonna ask you: Have you have you spoken to anyone? Have you received any letters from Cedars? Have you done any of that? What I, what I, the information that I received is that you were to reach out to your primary another primary care doctor. So, so you're refusing care. You're refusing care at your clinic. I'm not, I'm not refusing care. Well, you obviously I'm not are. Refusing care. So I, I'm so I'm not at live to go back and forth with you. Okay, but you're this. telling me super, no. You're super, obviously telling me go somewhere else. Go to somewhere else. You're refusing. I'm not telling you to go. Okay. Yeah, you you just said that. Okay, so ma'am, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna disconnect because my supervisor will call you. I'm not getting anywhere with you with this appointment, and I don't want to go back and forth. I'm, you're telling me to go Cedar, somewhere else, and that Cedar Sinai is kicking me out and refusing to see me as a patient. You, you, you actually I just that, did. I did, not say those I did not say those words to you at all. But you said that they're refusing I'm, I'm, I'm to call, give me an I'm appointment, call, and they told me to go somewhere else. And yes, you said that they sent me a letter. So why would they do that? There's obviously some kind of slander about me. If I've never gone to your doctor's office and you're refusing to make me an appointment, that's pretty discriminatory. Hello? Did you want my supervisor to call you back, or would you like to call back to speak with the supervisor? But, ma'am, these are valid questions. I'm calling to make an appointment. I've been calling Cedar Sinai for six months. Hey, can I have an appointment? Can I have an appointment? I am loud on the phone because I am hearing impaired. I tell my okay. disability every single time when I call Cedar Sinai. And then now you're telling me, oh, they sent you a letter saying you can't be a patient of Cedar Sinai. That is crazy. I did, talk. I did not say that, ma'am. You Those did. Those words did not come out of my mouth. You I did not say they sent you a letter saying that you can be. Uh, I'm going to okay, disconnect well, the phone at this point because appointment? now you're saying things that I did not say. Then and why I did not can say I have, that. That is what you said. Then why okay, can I have so an this, appointment? That's not what I said. That's not what I stated to you, ma'am. Okay. Ma and I'm not going to. Okay, so then I'm going to disconnect the phone at this time, Ms. Warren. Don't just hang up on me. And my supervisor will give you a call. Don't just hang up on me. will call you. Don't just hang up on me. That solves nothing. I'm not just hanging up. I'm letting you know that I'm going to disconnect the call. No, you're telling no, I'm not. me. I'm letting you know that I'm going to disconnect the call. Of course, you're just uh, threatening me instead. That's awesome. You. Thank you for the threat, Cedar Sinai. That's super great. I am not. I'm not you threatening are. you. Ma'am. I'm advising you. That I'm it gonna doesn't. Well, you're you're telling me. me telling oh, you. there's so many notes. Oh, but they're not about me. Oh, but I can't make an appointment, and I must have gotten a letter. And then you tell me, oh, no, you didn't say that. And I'm like, okay, so if you're not refusing to uh, give me medical care at your facility, why don't you make me an appointment? And you won't answer that question. You're just evading and deflecting and then hanging up on me. That's bizarre. I'm not hanging up. I'm, I'm That's bizarre. To what That's bizarre, bizarre treatment of a patient from Cedar sinai It's completely discriminatory. It's completely slanderous. And for zero reason. I haven't said anything to you people other than ask for an appointment. I mean, I can hear you tapping right now. What are you writing now? What notes are you writing? Oh, you know, she was argumentative. She was rude. You're probably writing more slander right now instead of just like talking to me like a human being and making me an appointment so I can get medical care. I'm going to place you on a brief hold. If you don't mind, one second for me, please. We're going to see if my supervisor is now available. That would be great. Thank you. Wow. And so this is how Cedar Sinai treats you. I've been calling since March, now it's October, to get an appointment. And I guess they didn't like me calling. I don't know. I mean, seriously, they're barring me. And she basically said, oh, did you get a letter? Obviously, I didn't get a letter. Obviously, they sent a letter saying that they're not going to take me in their clinic. For what? For calling and making an appointment? Like, they're literally treating me like I'm um, terrorist or criminal activities against them. 
all I've done is gone to their ER appointment twice. Let's see, one time for the knee. Oh, what's the other time for? I can't remember what the other time was for. And both times at the ER, they said, follow up with the primary, get established at a primary clinic, and I've been calling for six months, um, trying to get established. So obviously there is slander written about me if they're refusing to make an appointment. That's pretty slanderous. I don't know which is slender, which is libel, but it's one or the other. Unbelievable. Now I'm on hold for half an hour. This is going to be a long, boring video about how Cedar Sinai refuses to uh, help people. Again for your patience and holding. She's still given the meeting. She hasn't responded back to me as of yet. I don't know if you maybe you want to call back. No, I don't want to call back. I've, I've been well, calling. I can't stay on the line any longer. I can't stay on the line any longer. Okay, but I can't she wait more than six months, months for an appointment. That's completely outrageous. And if the, you know, then just make me an appointment when I can, when the, um, when the supervisor will be available. Yes, I heard that, that, but as I stated okay, okay, before, so I identified no, I, I identified make. my hearing disability. I told you I can't just sit here and stare at my phone for the next six okay. months, hoping that Cedar Sinai will call me back, which have already been well, done for six can, months. I'm probably can I finish my sentence? I'm probably going to miss your call because I'm hearing impaired. I don't have voicemail because I'm hearing impaired. So could you just schedule a time when the manager can call me so that I can be looking at my phone at that time, which would be a reasonable accommodation under the American Disabilities Act. So could I just have an appointment when they're going to contact me so I don't have to stare at the phone until I visually see the phone number come up? It's a reasonable request and a reasonable accommodation. I'm asking her now she'll be able to call you by the 12 before 4 30. No, like at a time. Like, can they call? Like, okay, ma'am, I can't do that. But, ma'am, I can't I magically hear because you guys don't want to accommodate disabled people. You're at doctor's office that's telling disabled people not to be disabled. Like, why is Cedar Sinai doing that? It's like if Cedar Sinai doesn't have a ramp, you wouldn't tell the person in the wheelchair, oh, just get out of the wheelchair and walk up the stairs. No, you would make sure there's a ramp. Uh. I'm just asking for, you know, I understand people are busy and people are meetings. Of course, I've been waiting six months. That's a really long time. Or is it more? April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Oh, seven months. I've been waiting seven months for an appointment. That's a very long time. 
to be getting the runaround from Cedar Sada. And now you're telling me, oh, there's notes. Oh, but they're not about me. But for some reason, they obviously are about me because you're refusing to make me an appointment. And it can't be any okay, like I'm thing not, I've I'm done because I've never been to your clinic. You. I've never been there in person. You're literally treating me like I've been to your clinic and like throwing feces around or pulling a gun on doctors. That's how you're treating me. I've never even set foot in your clinic because I've been waiting for seven months for an appointment. All I've been is to the ER twice and both times they referred me to the clinic for an appointment. That's it. That's my entire interaction with Cedar sinai I do see that you established care back in March, but for, for, an appointment, for an appointment to be scheduled with you, if one will be scheduled, I will need to speak with the supervisor, which she says she will give. Okay, but I've been I, okay, I so I need a time I when she's, she's going to call. Impaired, and I can't give you a call. She's in a meeting. I, I heard that. that Just ask over. what time she can call. She's in a meeting. Ma I know that. But there must be a time that she could schedule to call because I can't sit here and stare at my phone and I don't have voicemail because I'm hearing impaired for hours and hours and hours, or in my case, seven months. And here you're saying in a recorded call that I have established care in March, but yet I can't make an appointment since then. That's treating me differently from other patients. Every other Cedar sinai patient who's established care would be able to make an appointment. The fact that you're refusing to give me an appointment is discriminatory. The only appointment I had was a Zoom appointment. That's it. Okay, I'm waiting on a response as far as there's a time that can be given. I may take a few minutes because, again, she's in a meeting. I understand that, people. but there's no reason okay, to no treat problem. disabled people with such, like, condescension and disparity and then labeling the labeling the, the, the disabled person. You're just labeling me. I've been on the phone with you for 35 minutes. That's my time. It should have been a two-minute phone call, make an appointment. Yes, here's the date, here's the time, done. It shouldn't be 35 minutes of trauma. Okay, but can you just okay, give me an actual time because I'm gonna miss I the don't call. Have a time. I can't. I can't give a time. Okay, so I'm you're refusing accommodations okay. for hearing impaired people, then? I'm not refusing here, ma'am. Then why can't she email me when she's out of her meeting and either talk to me over email or set up a time over email? Okay, the email address you have on file urbanspine at gmail dot com is the best con email address for you. Yes, ma'am. I'll forward that to her. Okay, well, I'll forward that to her, mm -hmm. okay? You couldn't, have, uh, you couldn't have done that 40 minutes ago? When I asked you 40 minutes ago. 40 minutes ago, I told you I was hearing disabled. I asked for a reasonable accommodations for my hearing disability, and you've refused ever since. Okay, well, I'll, I'll send her this information, and um, you have a great day, and thank you for choosing Cedars. Unbelievable. And that is how Cedar Sinai treats disabled people. That's so great.